a cell is the basic structural and functional unit of life. Organisms can be classified into two types based on the structures present in their cells. The organisms that have a well-defined nucleus are called as the eukaryotes. Whereas those that do not have a well-defined nucleus are called as the prokaryotes. The term eukaryotes can be split into two main word parts where eu means true and karyo means nucleus. The term itself means that eukaryotes are those organisms that have a true nucleus. Eukaryotic cells, in addition to having a nucleus, they also have other membrane-bound organelles. Eukaryotes include animals, plants, protists, fungi, and algae. Organelles are structures that are bound by a membrane and these are present inside the eukaryotic cells. The basic structure of all eukaryotic cells is almost the same. They are all bound by a cell membrane. The cell membrane is semi-permeable, that is it only allows certain substances like lipid-soluble substances to pass through. And it also is a phospholipid bilayer. You will learn more about this in further videos. And it helps enclose the contents of the cell. It is all the contents of the cell are enclosed within the cell due to the presence of the cell membrane. And also the cell membrane has some transport proteins that helps in transporting substances into and out of the cell. It helps in communication between adjacent cells and also it is a protective layer protecting the cell from the outside environment. Inside the cell is the nucleus. The nucleus is the organelle that houses the genetic information of the cell in the form of DNA and the outer covering of the nucleus is known as the nuclear envelope. Inside the nucleus is a structure called as the nucleolus where ribosomes are synthesized. Ribosomes are uh, structures. These are not organelles. They are just some structures that are usually represented like dots within the cell. They contain RNA and they help in protein synthesis. Attached to the nucleus is a series of maze-like structures that are known as the endoplasmic reticulum. And there are two types of these. The endoplasmic reticulum that is very close to the nucleus contains ribosomes on them. These ribosomes look like granular structures on microscopy. And so this endoplasmic reticulum is also known as rough or granular endoplasmic reticulum. This mainly has a role in protein synthesis. Whereas the endoplasmic reticulum that do not have ribosomes attached to it are called as the smooth endoplasmic reticulum that has a major role in lipid synthesis and detoxification function. Another organelle is the Golgi apparatus that helps package the proteins, store proteins and to modify them such as adding a glucose molecule and making it a glycoprotein and so on. And the modified proteins are then secreted out into the cell as secretory vesicles. The ribosomes, in addition to being present on the surface of the rough endoplasmic reticulum, they are also present freely within the cell 
and these ribosomes are known as the free ribosomes. The difference is that the proteins that are synthesized by the free ribosomes stays within the cell inside the cell cytosol whereas the proteins that are synthesized by the ribosomes in the rough endoplasmic reticulum they stay within the cell membrane that is they go uh, form the proteins in the cell membrane as transport proteins and the proteins within the membrane or they go out of the cell whereas the proteins that are synthesized by the free ribosomes stay inside the cell that's the major difference between the protein synthesis by the ribosomes that are free ribosomes and the ribosomes that are present in the rough ER. The eukaryotic cells have another organelle known as the mitochondria that is the energy powerhouse of the cell that is it helps produce the energy in the form of ATP and this ATP is required for various reactions within the cell. Other structures within the cell include lysosomes that help break down waste products and peroxisomes that help detoxify some contents in the cell. Other structures include the chloroplast which is present only in plant cells, not present in animal cells. It helps in cellular respiration in plants and centriole which is present in animal cells and not present in other eukaryotic cells. It helps in building up the microtubules that help form the cytoskeleton of the cell. And plant cells, in addition to having a cell membrane, they also have an extra protective layer known as the cell wall. This is absent in other eukaryotic cells.